What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chris P and I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to be discussing the alert playground for automated trader which if you do not have automated trader automated trader is going to go ahead and give you the ability to turn any alert on trading view into a automated system and setting up is super super simple today we're going to actually look at the trusted signals v3 bot if you guys want to go ahead and set this up manually remember that the advanced webhooks are going to be releasing very very soon so it's literally going to be one click and everything is going to be situated for you but if you're ready to go ahead and start trading today and start utilizing the systems that you already have access to the easiest way to go ahead and set up is number one find the best settings on your v3 bot and as you guys can see here with the v3 bot it's going to go ahead and give you the entry the take profits and the stop loss now setting this bot up is very very simple the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is put in your parameters right one thing that i can tell you is that with this basic setup you're not going to be able to go ahead and add the risk management that the bots actually create meaning if you wanted to go ahead and risk two percent of a 10 percent uh ten thousand dollar account you're not going to be able to do that in this version instead we're going to go ahead and set up fixed lots for the basic version and like i said once this is fully automated for you it's going to go ahead and give you the proper risk management and every single trade is going to go ahead and keep on adding lot sizes or subtracting lot sizes depending on if you won the previous trade right so compounding but essentially all you have to do is come down here right and in this specific tool okay if you're setting up with the basic number one you're going to want to go ahead and use a strategy that has entries and exits okay if you guys stroll down right here you guys can see these general alerts now let's say we wanted to go ahead and set up a buy for xau usd right what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and set it up like this right so we're going to come here and we're going to go ahead and type in xa i'm going to put it in caps xau usd and remember that this symbol is going to go ahead and trade in your broker so if your broker has xau usd dot pro then you're going to want to go ahead and add dot pro for this one we're actually using trade locker so you guys are going to go ahead and just put xau usd for this tutorial we're going to go ahead and put a 0.50 and then the strategy ID, okay, this is more of a trade ID, meaning that when it enters you in the position, let's say it enters you into a position, it's going to go ahead and find that trade and exit that position when the next ID is found, right? So for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put V3. You can pretty much label this anything that you want, right? As you guys can see here, we also have the exit strategy for the advanced, you know, TPs, meaning if you wanted to go ahead and have two TPs or four TPs, it's gonna go ahead and close those partials for you. And as you guys can see here, we have the long entry, we have the long TP, long TP2, long TP3, long TP4. So if you're setting up buys, then you're only gonna use the long TPs, right? And the long entry. So right now we're gonna go ahead and set up the buy and you're pretty much gonna go ahead and do this every single time you're setting up alerts. So right here in the general alerts you guys can see buy so we're just going to go ahead and select buy right so meaning it's going to go ahead and give you an alert only on the buys okay so for this one we're going to go ahead and leave it like this and then we're going to come here we're going to go ahead and click add alert as you guys can see here trusted signals is the condition right because that's the bot that we're going to go ahead and use and we're going to go ahead and have a orders fills and alert function calls right now we're going to come to message and as you guys can see here this is the message that we're going to go ahead and give right and anytime this alert fires this message is going to go ahead and open up that trade so we're going to go ahead and copy long entry we're going to paste that here and then you're going to be able to go ahead and pretty much just name this whatever you want xau usd and then i'm going to put by entry right so that way we know when this alert fires it's going to go ahead and give you a buy entry and then for the notifications what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and copy the webhook so where you're going to go ahead and find that is actually in the automate system right here and then you're going to come here and you're going to copy this webhook and each account has one webhook so any alert that fires it's going to go ahead and trigger in this specific account right here so i'm going to go ahead and come back here and i'm going to go ahead and paste this right here boom all right and then now we're going to go ahead and click create 
And it's pretty much that simple if you want to go ahead and just have entries, right? As you guys can see here, this is the alert. So the next buy entry is going to go ahead and enter into a trade with a 0.50 on your trade locker. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and set up more alerts, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come down here and then now you're going to do the same thing for your stop loss. OK, so now this alert is going to be only for the stop loss. You guys can click OK. We're going to come here. OK, we're going to click this. Right. And this is a little bit tedious because, like I said, this is not going to go ahead and give you the full automation in one click. But this is going to go ahead and give you the ability to go ahead and start trading and using these tools right now. So as you guys can see here, you're going to click message, right? You're going to go ahead and erase all of this. And then you're going to come back to your alert playground. OK, and then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to hit your stop loss, meaning you're going to close 100 percent of your trade when your stop loss is hit. OK, and we're going to choose long because we're only closing the long entry. So you're going to copy here. All right, and actually, XAU USD, and actually erase this. So I'll go ahead and do this again. It doesn't necessarily matter. And then remember, you're going to want to make sure your ID is the correct ID because if you do not have the correct ID, then of course you're not going to get the you know the correct trade to close, right? So long, boom, copy this, and then all you're going to do is come here. You're going to paste this, and then now you're going to put XAU USD. And then we're going to put stop loss hit, right? Because now every single time this alert fires, it's going to go ahead and have a stop loss hit, right? So notifications, as you can see here, we already have the webhook. So we're going to go ahead and click create. Boom. And as you guys can see here, now we're already setting up an alert that if your stop loss is hit in this specific tool, it's going to go ahead and exit 100% of the trade. So let's talk about TPs, right? So in this specific indicator and strategy, we have three TPs. So as you guys can see here in the exit strategy, we're going to have partial close and it's going to go ahead and give you the partial close right here. Now in this specific tool, we have it close 25% Okay, at TP1, 50% at TP2, and then TP3 is going to close 100% of the trade. In the alert playground, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to select all three take profits, and then all we're going to do is do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and pit 25, and then we're going to close 50, whoops, right? And then to close the rest, we're going to go ahead and add 25%, right? So that's going to be 100% of the trade close and as you guys can see here these are their alerts so tp1 you guys can see here right this is the alert that we're going to go ahead and give and then tp2 tp3 so for this specific one we're going to go ahead and go copy tp1 we're going to come back here and we're going to make sure now that the general alerts are matching tp1 so we have tp1 here so now we can go ahead and set up our alert for tp1 you're just going to come here, you're going to copy this, and then you're literally just going to put XAU, USD, and then you're going to put TP1 hit, okay? And then remember, your webhook is going to stay the same, and you're going to put create. And as you guys can see here, the process is very, very simple when we're setting this up. And essentially, if you set this up for TP1, TP2, TP3, then every single time this TP is hit, it's going to go ahead and pretty much just give you your, you know, your partial closes, right? And remember, with this specific tool as well, if it comes, you know, if you have a trailing stop initiated, if it hits your stop loss, remember, stop loss hit, boom, it's going to go ahead and give you that alert. So setting this up is pretty, pretty easy. And essentially, if you guys want to go ahead and get started, you guys can do so after watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Until the next video, I'm out. You already know what it is, man. Peace.